I want to show you how I changed my rear brake pads on my BMW X3 F25. What's make the procedure a little bit special on this car is that it is equipped with an electric handbrake. And the actuator for this handbrake has to be rewinded so that uh, I can uh, press back the pistons. There's two uh, ways you can do this. You can do it with diagnostic software or you can do it a manual way. I will today show you the manual way. Okay, you start by uh, releasing the handbrake and then you chop the front wheels and then you start unscrewing the rear wheel. Okay, we have removed the wheel, put it away, and then we secure with the uh, action stand so we don't get any accident here. So, all is secure. And then starts the procedure. Start by removing the Wire for the brake pad wear sensor. It's a bit, it comes off easy. So. Okay, we have to start to remove the electric uh, brake unit. It's held in place by, uh, by a clamp and two torque screws. Actually, it's a Torx T30 screw. This will be okay to take it off. We are about to get the clamp loose. Screws off. Like that. Stop. These are the Torx screws that uh, fixes the clamp. Okay, with the clamp loose, we can just disconnect the the control uh, electric brake unit. Okay, then we start to remove the brake pads. You need a 14 inch, 14 millimeter spanner and a 13 millimeter spanner and then you just loosen the screws like that and there's a similar on the bottom here Like that. The lock. Okay, now the screws are getting pretty loose. Take them off. So up and then the down one. Like that. And then we can take the caliper off. Caliper off and also take this inner brake pad with the wear sensor on. So like this, put it away on the side. Okay, to remove the wear sensor you just use a screwdriver and press it out like this. So, then you can disconnect this. And then you take the auto pad out. And basically we are ready to depress the piston here, but uh, as I said, I'm going to show you the special manual procedure for this. Yeah, this is how the 
caliper look like on the back side where the electric brake connects. It's uh, some splines here that drives the actuator. And we have to use a Torx uh, bit. It's actually a T45 says it on it here. Put it in here and just turn it clockwise. You just turn it until it stops. So, like that. No. Okay, then we put it on the tool so you can depress the piston. You see it goes very easy all the way home. Like this. Remove the tool. And now we are ready to to put the new brake pads on. Okay, then we shall put on the new pads. They are a little bit different. You see the right one uh, has a recess for, for the brake pad wear sensor and we're gonna put that on the inside. that then we put the auto on on the outside like this wrong way <laughs> just checking like this and then we take the caliper and before we Put it on, we can make sure we get this wheel sensor correct. Like that. See that? And then it's just put it back where it was. Like this. Then use new screws to fix the caliper like this That and then the upside here. And then of course torque it well. Also down here. Make it tight. Now, we are ready to put the electric brake, brake back on. Let's just align it with the caliper and push it on like this. Okay, we just engage the screw and fasten that electric brake. And then on the other side, okay. Like that. So, 
Okay. Okay, then we secure the wire for the wear sensor like this. Put it back on like this. And then we are ready to put the wheel back on. First, we remove this. Okay, the last thing we have to do is to check the brake fluid level.